What's going on guys? My name is Zach Longo and today I got my papa over here. You want to introduce yourself? My name is Larry, Zach's father. Big L. And today we're going to teach you how to create pasta papa and a degenerate son like myself. Listen, I only have two things to say though. One, thank you for having me to do the show. I've been waiting a long time. And the second thing is it's about fucking time. It's about fucking yeah, time. Okay, so I'm ready to go on this. Yeah, Jump give in. me the backstory on this dish though, because okay, I know this, there's a story. It's called Pasta Papa. Yeah. And your grandfather actually brought it to our attention. He had uh, dinner many years ago at Hugo's. Hugo's had Pasta Mama, Pasta Papa. Hugo's is a restaurant in West Hollywood for you people that aren't familiar. It is pretty iconic. It's been around for... It was originally on Sunset Boulevard. Then they now moved to Santa Monica. And you're right, it's, it's been popular for maybe 30 years or plus. Yeah, I still go there actually yeah. and have the pasta papa. I ate it the other day. Yeah, it's a great dish and it's a lot easier to make than you think. What you're gonna use is uh, fresh sausage that you get from an Italian market and it's hot. You can use sweet if you'd like, but the hotter the better. We're hot guys, we like hot sausage. We always like hot. So you're gonna add a little bacon to it. That adds a little more saltiness to it. And then it's just a combination of salt, pepper, some cheese. And then we add some green onions on there and some garlic. First thing we're going to do, some oil in on the hot pan. Is that pan hot? Oh yeah, large. Sure. Okay, so we're going to throw in the bacon. I've chopped it up here already for you. This is nice for okay. once I get to yeah. uh, sit yeah. back and not do shit. Yeah. yeah. Finally have a guest that knows how to cook on my show. Well, as long as I know where I send the bill to. So we're going to fry this up. I don't think I've ever made this dish before. Because I just go to Hugo's down the street and get it. That's because most of the time when I was making it when you were young, you were sleeping. You know, That's true. From the night before. You guys are getting the master class today. This is where I learned well, how to cook. It took 30 years to figure it out. Cut up the sausage, but we're going to remove the casing because when you, the casing is not necessary. We just want to use the actual. So back in the day, they used to have the uh, natural casing, I guess. It was like animal skin and intestines to wrap the meat in. Nowadays, you know. It's artificial. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at wrapping my meat, but when I do, we use the artificial made of cellulose and... Not sure. Collagen. 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 Made of cellulose and collagen, which is How did what? you know that? You know, okay. I'm not just a pretty face. Oh, uh, it looks like a condom. I don't know <laughs> what that is. Hold on to that pan there for me, okay? Because yeah. this thing's spinning around. We're going to break up the sausage inside this pan. And it does crumble after you start to cook it. So we're just going to throw that in there. What's it like to cook in such a state-of-the-art kitchen? I don't know who your designer was, but... Uh, he needs, he needs to win an award for this. Finest Italian yeah, yeah. marble, yeah, the amazing, finest amazing. Italian men. Amazing yeah, marble, no. it's beautiful. But this you're gonna break up this twice. Well, we all know I'm good at breakups, so. While you're cooking, I had some people actually uh, submit some questions for you. Who's your favorite daughter? <laughs> Zachary. <laughs> well, after that haircut, yeah. you'd be ready to lie for it. <laughs> Where does Zach get all his good looks from? His father. Who's a better cook, you or mom? Uh, she's a much better cook than me. Safe. Oh yeah. yeah oh, yeah. she's she's poking her head in. <laughs> Zach said you had a band. Which one of your kids is the best musician? None of them. <laughs> True story. None of them. We're all major disappointments. They, they all they all got their mother's talent for for music. You know. What's more disappointing, the fact that we're not musicians, or the fact that I was an accident? An accident? No, you weren't an accident. Well, mom told me my whole uh, life no, I was the not best. A, not I was a, the best surprise she ever had, and then when I was like 16, I realized that she meant that I wasn't <laughs> planned. At what age did you give me the birds and the bees talk? The birds and the bees talk? I don't uh, think last you did. year. Yeah. Does Zach ever cook for the family at home? <laughs> Are you dumb? When I got he, my parents to do that. When, when he's awake, yeah. What was the most awkward moment raising Zach? Um, taking the keys away from when he was driving the car at 13. Or what about when you picked me up from school because I got suspended for being in the bathroom with a girl? No, no, actually it was when I dropped you off from school, circled around the block and found you going to the restaurant instead of class. Ah. Uh, uh, kind of, that's the kind of move I did. Mm -hmm. And I was very familiar with it. And now, sorry to interrupt, but I have to throw in the yeah, green keep onions going. Keep, uh, and the garlic. Keep telling them how to cook this dish yeah, and we'll anyway. save the questions for later. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of parsley, we're going to throw in the rest. You don't want to put the parsley in too soon because it does lose its flavor if it's in there too long. You want to want to use it as a, a garnish at the end and it has a lot more flavor that way. Okay, so we're going to get the, the pot with the boiling water salted. We're going to cook the pasta. You guys already know how to do that. I don't need to show you, so 
Here we go. Um, homemade pasta only takes a few minutes. The store bought where it's harder, it takes a, uh, you know, 10, 12 minutes. It's nice to keep a cup of water on the side because with this dish, if it is a little dry, you add a little water to it and it just makes it a lot easier to eat. Pasta's pasta has been cooked. Okay, so we're gonna take this pasta on here. We're gonna add just a bit of the pasta water. And you wanna use pasta water because it has the starch in it from the pasta, the pasta itself when it was boiling. And it's, you can't use just clear water. So we're gonna crack a couple of eggs. Now the difference between this and carbonata pasta is that we're cooking the eggs here. Carbonata, you put in the raw egg and you just warm it up. This dish, you're actually scrambling it. It's actually gonna cook. So you wanna throw this in. While the pan, pan's hot. While the right? pan is we hot, you're cooking. Scramble eggs? You're cooking this. Let me get this out of here. Yeah. And we're gonna stir this in. This is gonna be a beautiful consistency. Oh, look at that. Gonna keep cook, we're gonna keep cooking it. So you'll see this, so the eggs will start to scramble and it all comes together, it's beautiful. Another few seconds, we're gonna sprinkle in some cheese. You want Parmigiano, Reggiano cheese. So you got some, just some parsley to sprinkle on here just for a little garnish and you are ready to plate this. Okay, so we're gonna plate this pasta papa and we're going to take a little... Uh, You're always uh, watching my videos and giving me shit for how yeah, I plate dishes, yeah, you're so not, yeah. the pressure's on. Yeah, no, we're gonna show you how to plate these things properly. Okay, so you don't want to overplate the plate. Nice portion, but you're not, not too generous. Okay, so you're gonna put a little pep black pepper on that. Some cheese. That looks pretty fucking good. And then a little parsley just to dress it up. And then that's it. That's what you do. That's fucking well and nice. Let's see how this turned out. Are you giving it a twirl? You don't twirl? need a spoon to twirl this either. You gotta go back to school. Wow, look who we got. Sneak it in. Look at the hand. Oh, wait. Large. Congrats, you're hired. Huh? From now on, we'll be taking over from here. Geez, that's not bad. That's fucking good. Not bad for the first time, huh? Yeah. Great. Just eat straight out of the pan. Mom, are you gonna say hi to the people? Hi, people. Come say hi. Let's see what other questions we got for you. Did you watch Are You The One and what did you think of me on it if you did? I was totally against it. No, you were for it. Mom was against it. She said, I already embarrassed you guys enough. If I remember correctly. So as long as you learn something from it, I think it's worthwhile. I wouldn't be doing this right now if it wasn't for that. Right. Where does Zach get his personality from? His grandmother and his grandfather. You got your appetite from your father. What's your favorite meal? cook. Actually, I like the barbecue. I know, that's why I thought we were gonna do a barbecue episode, but I love this dish anyway, so. We'll save that for next time. I haven't done a barbecue episode. We can do some you need to, ribs. I was gonna say, you gotta teach these people smoke, how to do ribs. Smoke some ribs. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. This has been Pasta Papa with Big L. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what kind of barbecue dish my dad should teach you guys because he is the BBQ master. And anything you want to say to people? Well, you know, thanks very much, but uh, it's time to take me to the airport. Got to get back to the Great White North. Oh, oh.